Hey guys, this is Guy Strauss. Um, today we'll do an unboxing of the TBS Caprina 2 or Caprina. So you know that TBS has a, a very uh, unique name, which is nice. I'm also hopefully will get the uh, new uh, uh, racer drone, the Obvillian, something like that. So I've been with TBS, uh, you know, experimenting with them and. Uh, their products for the last five six years. I don't know since the file um, started uh, the business with this professional FPV and uh, started to manufacture a um, very exciting uh, product. So starting with the quad quarter that they have, the TBS Discovery, and then I had the D uh, TBS Discovery Pro with the uh, two axis gimbal, which was fantastic these days. And I will put in the description. I made a video back then, I think four years ago, shooting my kids uh, on horses, uh, which was quite fabulous for these days, you know, today we have all the, these DJI products. Anyways, uh, also ex had some experience with the uh, uh, wings, the Zapier 2 and the Keep Caprina 1, and uh, the Quad, uh, the Racer, the Vendetta, I also had it and I have uh, um, some review on that and some videos. And today, finally, I'm going to do a, an unboxing of uh, um, this uh, Caprina 2, which looks fantastic on the manual and the video that I saw. So, without further ado, uh, let's open the box. Okay, so this is the first time I open the box. You guys. So, we got more boxes here. Small one, big one, and one biggest one, like it looks like a present. So let's start with this small one. What we have here. Okay, so this is part of the fuselage itself. Let's see it wraps some nice. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, this is part of the fuselage. This is the cover compartment ESC. This is kind of a PDB where you can solder um, additional XT60 uh, and have two or three batteries in parallel. Very nice, everything connected, everything is already soldered. Got here the TBS straps, Capurinia, very well built. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, what else we got here? We got here the motor itself. already uh, built into this um, yeah it's, it's very nice this is a uh, Cobra um, 2814 CPU 2814 the new one uh, 1050 kV and here you've got additional strap and two uh, silver wires extension I assume okay let's take this out of the way let's open that one what we got here first of all the elvans which are very nice this is a buzz up they would the uh, elvans I see that these are already um, well, we're going to connect the, the servo roads already glued in because I saw uh, a previous version that I uh, need to cut it out and uh, glue it in. So that is very nice. Uh, we got here the winglets. And 
then what else? This is kind of some kind of a uh, cover, I assume. We'll see that when we're going to build it. This is kind of stickers, which I guess that you put underneath uh, the wing. And these are the aeronaut uh, come uh, propellers. Yeah, the carbon ones. And all the parts that belong to that. Very nice. Some screws uh, for the winglets, I assume. And the present itself. Let's open it together. Let's see what's inside. Oh, yeah, the wing itself. Perhaps so nice. This one part, this is uh, obviously as you may have noticed the PNP version, everything is inside. Whoa, <laughs> that was nice. Just press it, this is one of the compartments uh, we're going to use, maybe for the uh, INAV board, for the GPS and everything, but this is the first time that I see. Sorry for this being so enthusiastic, but it's very nice. Yeah, here we see already uh, all the uh, wires of the servos which are here already glued in. Let's close it one more time. Okay, that's enough. So <laughs> we're going to put the uh, uh, flying camera. Uh, this is very nice strategy. Um, Material. Yep, I like it. Let's see the other one, the other part. Same thing. And here we're going to put uh, the uh, Go procession. Yeah, here are the covers that we saw earlier. And this is a carbon road uh, to put inside. Yeah, looks so nice. Okay, let's take this out of the way as well. So a quick show off. See how we're going to connect it. Just a bit to the other side. Let's see what's what's stuck inside. Oh, okay. Goes all together. Yeah, so nice. This plug and play wing. Not too much work. It's so nice how it goes. I think it's going to get it. Yeah, that's great. Looks very very nice. Um, I'm going to enjoy building that. So let me show you uh, just the uh, equipment of uh, what I'm going to use. Let me take these things out of the way. Okay. So I got here uh, an FPV, uh, sorry, INAV board, the Seal Racing 4 Air. And I'm going to use uh, this Foxeer uh, Aero Micro Pro FPV camera, um, which is going to be my flight camera. It's kind of tiny, I need to figure out how do I'm going to put it inside. Um, I'm going to use 1.2 uh, FPV transmitter. I'm going to take off this uh, housing. Uh, so it would be lighter, and this is the FPV Pro from Dragonlink 
uh, 1.2 uh, antenna. Uh, I'm going to use um, some UBEC. I need to see if, uh, where I need it. Uh, just uh, I'm not using a nine of boards. I'm not using uh, this five volt. I'm using an external UBEC to power the servo bus. Um, this is the uh, uh, Dragon Link uh, UHF that I'm going to use. I bought a brand new uh, uh, camera, the GoPro Hero Session 4, to be used on this wing. And I'm going to use this Revo um, battery that I got. It was nice as well the way I got it. So this is the uh, one 4S, uh, which one is it? 5200 uh, and uh, 40C. Yeah, you, you can see my name on it. Yeah, it's quite neat. So this is it uh, guys for the unboxing. I'm going to uh, um, do a quick video of the build. And uh, this is a very nice swing, I must say. Um, and it looks like a good uh, build. And um, I'm going to uh, um, hopefully have it, you know, made in soon enough that I can share it with you to see how nice it flies. And this is it for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Got many other FPV uh, rigs over there that I'm reviewing and you know share all the, the flying videos.